Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family and this is Yacht Shopping Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers. For those of you that are new here, on Friday nights we get together and dream and shop for our Great Loop boat. Our family of four is departing on the Great Loop in about 17 months from now, and so we are getting serious about picking out a boat that is suitable for doing the Great Loop. 6,000 miles uh, circumnavigation of the east coast of the U.S. So we're starting to get excited and also a little nervous about figuring out what it is we need in a Great Loop boat. Because it takes several months to pick out and do a survey and all that, and so I'm ready to start visiting boats and apparently start paying mortgage fees, but I'm getting ready. So tonight we are checking out a Viking, a uh, 48-foot uh, motor yacht. This is a 1987, and this is a boat that has done the Great Loop. I think this completed the loop in 2017 or something, and so it is absolutely loop capable. It yeah. has proven that and uh, well equipped. So let's take a look and see what we think. Great. So it's in Maryland. Um, so we would have to learn fairly quickly how to drive the boat rather than just puttering around um, the Great Lakes for a while. But I mean, we, we boat a 34 foot boat right now. So hopefully that'll give us the uh, experience that we need. Yeah. So looks like Kind of standard fare for these motor yachts that we've been looking at lately. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of like the squarish, clunky look to it. It's not um, crazy modern and all plasticky, uh, despite being made plastic. Yeah, I, I, I also do that. I like that in my cars as well. I like that. I like them to be kind of square and clunky as opposed to you know sleek and aerodynamic. So one thing uh, I noticed right away is that. This may not be a windshield up front. It may be covered, oh, but no. it may not be. So that's, that I do find kind of hokey. It's it's something that we. It's just nice to be able to look out uh, mm -hmm. forward when you're in that salon or galley area, or whatever. Anyway, I like the bench. But, yeah, the bench is nice. Um, that's something I hadn't noticed on this model before. Nice large kind of hanging out. Yeah. Bow the bench area is really here. nice. I don't know what this tray is. Maybe it's for a barbecue to come up here. But there's there's the AGLCA Burgi right there yeah, on the front. Burgie. So a little bit of rust stain on the deck here. So I guess we got that. That comes with the got, got, <laughs> old boat. Got that on our current boat. So. Oh, looks like a nice. This must be tin. on the sun deck. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's a bar area or just a cabinet that's out there. Uh, we've got. Steps up to the flybridge here. These glass doors heading yeah. down into the salon and wing doors that look uh, wood frames with plexi or glass in them. And then a little kind of horizontal window up to the flybridge too, so you can look down through, probably get a, a view even to the stern. Okay. But there might not be places for people to hang out on the flybridge. Yeah, we'll see. So here's the sun deck area. Uh, looks like we're looking at a corner here, so I don't know if this is plastic and that you roll up and then walk through this little door to get down yeah, it might on the, like, be the swim super step. Enclosed. But it doesn't look as like super enclosed as some of the you know flush decks that this is actually a living area. This does right. feel like it's a bit outdoor. Nice lots of space. I mean very big. Four seats yeah. here and a nice big uh, coffee table kind of thing. Another chair off to the side. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like these probably are uh, glass and they're sliders and things. So, um, so it's kind of like a three-season patio. Yeah, not not like the outdoor experience. Mm -hmm. uh, crane to get your dinghy up here on top of that sun deck top. <laughs> Great picture of the dinghy. Maybe <laughs> maybe an older dinghy. Yeah. That looks like a narrowish walkway for my hips. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so here you asked about hanging out here oh. on the sun deck, so or the fly bridge. Yeah. Here's like a bench along the side. It looks like a bench in front of the helm station. I mean, it's not like cush hanging out in the sunshine kind of a fly deck. 
So home station, yeah. So you sit, in, you can sit in front of the home station. Oh, you sit front. on the side of the home station, and then the bench that you're sitting on to drive the boat. So lots of seating. It's just like you said, not a cushy, everybody hanging out together. Kind yeah, of let's hang out up there and read a book and but, kind of a thing. Looks like we've got modern, like very modern electronics for these '80s kinds of boats. But we can but both yeah. sit there together. Yeah. So you know, like a dog spot in between. <laughs> there you go. My dog does like to follow me around. Yeah, so super modern this. Um, like even fuel flow That's nice. Uh, sensors and stuff. So, yeah. And more modern controls. I actually think this boat's been repowered with newer diesels. So that could be a wow. serious bonus as well. Uh, it's like, like older depth sounders, but modern VHF and a big uh, chart plotter. Lord's right. provision. Lord's provision. All right. We believe in that'd be excellent. Wow, the dinghy's like I figured it would be sideways, but that's a large dinghy area. Mm -hmm. You can put some chairs up there. You could, yeah, you <laughs> could put some chairs to hang out there if it'll take the weight, and then chairs mm -hmm. up front too would be cool. It's a good looking boat, it's like the marina. Hey, that's a nice dinghy. Yeah, an yeah, actual really dinghy does. picture. And some actual seats, and then kids can sit up on the sides up yeah. front. So I think, yeah, two thumbs up on that. That's a good looking boat. Well, let's see inside first. Right. Okay, so this is the Ford berth. That does look nice. In the four people. With boat. windows. A big queen berth up here, yeah. You don't always get that. Right. Um, and some storage, looks like maybe on either side. Nice woodwork, too. Yeah, lovely. Well put together. This third must be room. the third stateroom. So it's got kind of L-shaped bunks here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of storage. Kitchen. This is back to the front, I think. Yeah. And who the knows? The bathroom looks nice. Maybe, maybe the front as well. Yeah, nice uh, enclosed mm -hmm. door shower here. And the forward head, I think we're... So there's storage under... So we must be looking... So this is that uh, third state third room. room. So, there's, there, nice so there's two state rooms room. forward and then the master aft, which is great. Which uh, we like because we will be separated from our teen children. Mm -hmm. And this I really like. It's fuzzy, but... Washer and dryer. Washer and dryer. Lovely. Oh, that's a great dinette. And a nice... Dinette. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, the inside... You see so far, the inside's better than the outside for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2017, this... I mean... These pictures, but uh, I like the wood. It's kind of a different layout than anything we've looked at, right? Because it's this... Um, Kind of a Open wonky hallway. angle hallway oh, because yeah. it's got the stateroom over here and then the dinette across. I assume the galley's down there. A couple of recliners here, so a nice salon area. Yeah. The AGLCA Great Loop map, <laughs> yep. which we have one hanging on our wall, so that's nice to see. And I like the darker wood. Mm -hmm. Steps up to that sun is deck. Is there a and couch or is the, it no, only fit those just two chairs? Those recliners. So we would have to replace that for sure. Oh, nice, maybe induction cooktop there. That looks new compared to the mm -hmm. cabinetry. Um, galley, I haven't seen the done of that. But so yeah, that's that's. This the, looks like those yeah, are you, fake windows. You can't see up. Uh, it was a bummer because that's not my favorite for sure. I, I definitely like that. Might to, be a deal breaker in the salon. Look out forward. So. Yeah. Yeah, somebody mentioned on our video a couple of weeks ago that the reason they do that is that those windows just always have a tendency to leak, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you seal them up. And if you have a boat that is um, doing a lot of kind of ocean Outdoor. work in, mm -hmm. in heavy seas, you're always getting that saltwater splash sure. up there, and it's just going to leak and be a mess. And so uh, several manufacturers, I know Ocean Yachts has done it, Viking has done it, which mm -hmm. I think we're one and the same at some in their history but that refrigerator looks awesome yeah so they put I think the, a lot of work in the galley here they put in lots of new necessities like they didn't need new cabinet work so they didn't put in new cabinet work that's and now a we're big in the aft state room. that's yeah. a big state room lots of storage big bed walk around oh full closet I don't know that we've seen anything like that yay uh, and then the aft head show us more show us more Whoa, that's a long counter. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not just a sink. There's a sexual space there. Oh, a little tub. And a tub. And stand-up shower. Well, maybe having weird fake windows is not a deal breaker. Yeah. It's just what we're used to now because we can look kind of 360 degrees from yeah. standing in the galley or the salon and see kind of what's going on. Well, and we have a secondary home station down there, so. That's true. That's... This doesn't have a second home down yeah. there. Yeah. This is kind of nice. Right? You can see yourselves hanging <laughs> that out That looks there. like every grandmother's living room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we would need an update. Quite like comfy chairs. <laughs> which grandma likes. Uh, nice engine room. Looks well kind of laid out and pretty clean. Oh yeah, so this was uh, what I read about being repowered. These are Iveco diesels, which I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Um, but that's what they're repowered with, so. Uh, and, and fairly recently, so low hours. I just, can you go back? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's a great boat. I would prefer less of an indoor feel to the sun deck and the flybridge. And then the... Um, fake windows make it feel even more enclosed mm -hmm. and l like less sunlight into the boat, mm -hmm. uh, which is a shame because that outish door areas are also enclosed. Mm -hmm. So the only outdoor space to hang out would be on that front couch. Yeah. Up here on the back. Yeah. 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 But the we, rest of it's pretty cool. We put out a video last week on chine slap. These look like very <laughs> pronounced chines. So yeah. go check that out if you want to know what that our daughter, is about. Our daughter does not know the perils of chine slap now because we have the forward cabin and yeah. she hasn't had to deal with it. Uh, but this, hers outside. would be the forward room. and she. But teenagers sleep with log anyway, so it would be fun. She would not appreciate it. Okay. And they're kind of running gear. Call out photos. Uh, yeah, so maybe. So, what can... about you? Uh, I think it has everything we need. Yeah. I like some of the things that have been updated. I like the woodwork. I like the layout. I like how the sun deck's laid out. I like. Uh, yeah, I think it has enough space for a family of four. I like the forward uh, double stateroom setup. So, That's that, nice. that third stateroom isn't back uh, right. next to the master. So, the two kids can be forward. But I can think of 10 other boats that I prefer, like with a cushy fly deck and a... Yeah, which I think is coming up. We're going to do kind of a review video of um, all the ones we've looked at so far and like what are your top, whatever, three, five picks. So okay. Something. But uh, this does the job. Uh, yeah, I think negatives for me are fly bridge. I still just can't really get my head around... Um, piloting the boat and then having a bench seat in front. Yeah, you mentioned that. It, it just feel, feels like more the the space would be more useful as a um, kind of a wraparound sectional seating area. Mm -hmm. um, and then that forward facing windshield uh, not being able to see out yeah. is weird, but we might have to just go hang out in a boat that has that. You know, half the time we spend in our current boat, we've got sunbrella cover on anyway, and so we're not even looking out That's that. That's true. So that might be. That's because we're too lazy to take it off when we're in, yeah, in the marina. I say good option. I mean, this is a boat that's listed for 150. It's done the loop. It's got modern repower. It it's does. certainly capable. Uh, meets all our needs for a family. It does. It does do that. All right. Well, thanks again, guys, for joining us for another one of these. If you have a boat recommendation. Put it in the comments down below. We do take those very seriously and yep. uh, we'll take a look. If you know a boat that fits our needs, we're looking for three staterooms, something that's loop capable for air draft and uh, underwater draft and it's cool, a little bit older, not uh, kind of an express cruiser, plasticky feel, space age boat. And so <laughs> if you know of one, a uh, model we've not talked about, uh, please let us know. Thank Thanks you. again for joining us. Cheers.